Today on Reviews from the Blind, I talk about the Oban CWM-01, a window clamp for video production. Hey folks, Matt Kuda here. Um, just wanted to do this quick review on this um, Oban C. WM01. And what I like about this is it allows me to clamp on my window here and then attach a video head to this. This is designed for video. I suppose it could work for video or still shots, but this one's designed for video and I think it's going to work for what I want it to do. There are times where I need something like this for doing um video production in the field where I just want to get a few clips of some birds or some elk or something like that and so this will allow me to do just that so the way this works is you unscrew this knob right here and you attach it over the window and you just screw that knob in until you get it where you want it and there it's clamped on now the reality is that you're probably going to want to do something like this. Attach a video head to it to give you more of a smooth action. Now this happens to be a pretty big video head. You can get smaller ones. This is the Manfrotto Model 3126 or Bogan actually from back in the day. And um, what you want to do here is you just simply screw this in like so. Screw that onto your uh, video head. And then you can mount it to the window. Now, here's the problem and that you're gonna run into is that now you, if you have a car like mine, you have very little space right here to actually fit this in. And so you're gonna wanna roll down the window a bit to kind of accommodate that. But you can only go down so far before it's too low, so. I tend to take it right down to where the uh, bottom of the window is and it's kind of hard to, to do that. You've got to work with it a little bit and then you can kind of screw it on there and you've got a pretty stable platform. Now in order to make this thing as straight as you can get it, you really need to put it up farther up the window here and something like that. So now we have we have that in position, right? And that allows us to pretty smoothly. Now, you know, the problem that you're going to encounter is that when you're panning, notice how you're panning kind of at an angle. So I haven't really solved that problem yet, and that's one of the drawbacks of this system is that you really, you know, I don't really, you, you really would have to have, I think, a pan tilt uh, head on here in this particular case, which I do have one of those um, But I kind of wanted to show what a traditional um, Head would look like on here So, you know, there's that there's that whole thing now you can kind of bring it over even farther and eliminate some of that uh, but You're still gonna have that weird angle to it. That's just gonna want to you know tilt like your, your camera like this so you know, for instance, if I wanted to mount this lens on here, and I, I think you'll see why I don't really care for it um, a whole lot right now. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do to make it work. Maybe I'm not. Let's try just uh, screwing it on from this angle. One eternity later. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to show you that today. Or right now so I think you can see though where it's gonna be an issue you know modern windows they just tend to let me see if I maybe if I bring this down a little farther maybe if I mount it backward maybe if I mounted it backward on here it would do a little better I don't know well, maybe that's an option, is to mount it backward. Something like this. Nah, you're still gonna get that. You're, you're still gonna get that wobble 
in there. So, you know, bottom line, guys, is I'm not really sure if this is going to be something for you or not. Now, you can always, you know, set it up, like I said, with that tilt shift, not tilt shift, pan tilt uh, head, and I think you're going to be in, in, in business. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see me here. I did manage to get my camera mounted, and you can see that you can pan with it quite easily. It does take, uh, I think, up to 10 pounds of weight, and so it is practical. Now, if I could get a little bit different mount here, so it's not doing this weird panning motion, I think we'd be in business. Um, you know, the problem is going to be getting a head that really matches it, but there's barely, look up here, guys, there is like barely enough clearance right here. And so I am skeptical still of, of what this can do. Um, they do make smaller heads than this, and that may be an option, but I think really uh, the camera that is recording this right now is my other Sony, and it's actually got the uh, pan tilt head on it. And so um, I think that would be a much better uh, solution here, unfortunately. Um, if there was a way to change this so that it wasn't tilted back, certainly it would help. Um, but I think you can see where it is possible. And so the reason I bought this is because um, I do some video work in the field and it's important for me to have a platform that's more, you know, that's fairly steady for, uh, for this. Now you can see it's a little wobbly. It, it's a little wobbly, so you're still gonna have to be careful. The other thing is I don't like about these type of setups is you're really kind of in a pickle with the whole glass right here. I mean, it's very easily, you could very easily break that glass doing a, doing a tilt, doing too much tilting. It puts a lot of pressure on that glass. And so I'm not overly happy about that. Now you can stabilize the pan a little bit by just putting your hand right there. It gets a really stable uh, photograph. But as you can see, guys, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. I'll probably keep it because it's so small. I mean, if we look at this thing, um, well, I don't want to take all that off of there now, but it's so small that I think it has uses in the field. And I think it could also, if you're, if you're doing vlogs like I'm, like I'm doing here, it could also be used as, um, a way to hold another camera. Like say, I want to put a camera behind me over here to shoot from this angle. You know, I could easily attach that to a window, you know, and that would be kind of cool or attach it to some other feature. So I think it has uses. I, I will hopefully do an updated review on this as I continue to use it in the field. I'll let you know how it works because the alternative for me is really expensive. If you were to, if you were to go up a level in this, you're talking about hundreds of dollars to get a, a, a specialized video clamp that goes over your door. And if this could work in a pinch, I, I think I'd rather have something like this. But again, it's that instability on that glass that I, I don't really like. Um, and, and, and a little bit of headroom, if I roll my window up here, you can see I've got very little room here. And, and if I bring it down farther, you know, I don't have any room either. And so, I mean, I'll, I'll let you be the judge on that. But anyway, they're not bad priced. I think the, this one comes, comes in between 35 and $40. Uh, they have a Manfrotto version that ha it's right around $50. So anyway, that's really all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day and get out there and enjoy nature. Bye-bye.